Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. So I've been on the road today, guys, a vlog-style video. Been up to UK Detailing, the Siren Sester, that's um, run by Rich and Ian, that, that I've met before through uh, Pro Detailers, and they've been on the channel before. Um, there was a demonstration day going on for the Flex Power Tools and Show Concepts Abrasives. So it's really, it was a day really for professional detailers. I was just there to kind of tag along and film it a little bit. But it was an opportunity for guys to really, um, to be walked through the, the Flex Power Tool range and the, sculpt, the show Concepts Abrasive range and then simply get your hands on the tools and the abrasives on some test panels to, um, you know, just to see what you make of them really, you know, get a bit of tool time with them as they say. <laughs> The event was also supported by Johnny B's Detailing Store, and they are a walk-in detail store, one of very few guys. I mean, you've, really, you've got like Halfords, you know, that are all over the country where you've got quite a limited range and no one to ask. And then there's a handful of places where you can go in and actually talk to guys, and they're, they're professional. They also run a sort of proper detailing outfit as well at the same location, I believe, as the store, so you can get a lot of good advice on, on all of the sort of products there. They sell the Flex stuff and the uh, Shell Concepts abrasives that were featured in today's demo. So I'll put a link for them in the description as well. It's really nice to meet them. Another reason for me going up there today was to catch up with uh, Richard Jones from Flex Power Tools, who I haven't seen for a couple of years. He came over initially um, down here when I wanted to review all their power tools at the sort of early days at the channel. So it's good to catch up with him again. And he's loaned me a um, Flex tool here, which is the XFE 7-1280. So it's their effectively their mini three inch dual action polisher so i'm going to be doing a review of this soon on the channel so it's like a it's like an accompanying tool that the um the mini polisher we'll talk more about it in the video soon but i'm really interested i had a little bit little bit of a play with it today but i want to um you know give it a proper whirl and do a do a formal kind of review on it on the channel so that is all to come and one other thing guys a question i get asked a hell of a lot is is around training you know, there's a, there's a, seems to be a big demand for training and, and not a lot of places that are easy to find that actually do it. The UK Detailing Academy in Sirencester, they've got this really nice facility. Obviously, they're doing lots of day in, detailing day in, day out. But they've also got like a training room upstairs on the sort of mezzanine floor that they've set up specifically for this. And they run a whole variety of different training courses. So lots of professional training courses on specific areas of of um, various aspects of detailing like leather restoration and stuff like that but they also when um, speaking to rich they do run courses for enthusiasts that are perhaps looking to either just gain knowledge um just because they want want to know more about it or perhaps because they want to go in and do this professionally um so that's something that's very interesting if they ever run that course i might go up you know go up there and film some of it so i can show you um, more about it but in the meantime if you're interested in getting some of that training i'll put the contact information for uk detailing in the description you can reach out to them and ask them when they're next running these these types of courses and you can speak to them about what you're what you're after in particular and see what they've got there but like i say structured training they do it do a lot of it so it could be a good thing they're based like i said before in sirencester there so they're fairly central you know um took me a couple of hours right from the south coast to get there but if you're anywhere higher up you can you can get to sirencester quite easily so it's a good location as well so i thought i'd mention that so all in all guys it was a really good day and i'll put some of the footage up of them walking through the tools and talking about the the abrasives for the product but most of it was just an opportunity to get your hands on the tools like i say it's also good to meet the guys there some of the professional details that attended for the first time so if you were there and you're watching pleasure to meet you and um it was good to catch up with bert as well there's a uh, another issue of Pro Detailers magazine will be coming out soon with lots of interesting stuff on it. The Leather Mega Test, some other things. There's going to be um, an article, I'm going to be writing an article for the ceramic, the cheap ceramic coatings in there, summarising kind of some of the stuff that we covered in the video and a few other bits as well. So um, basically, our, our entry level rotary is um, the P14 3. Um, this speed is it's, it's a bit faster speed than the P14-2, which you're probably all aware of. Um, this one is uh, 1100 RPM to 3700 RPM. Um, so it's basically our entry level rotary polisher. It's a nice little machine. Um, 
but a lot of people tend to pay a little bit more to go for the P14-2 150. Reason being, um, this one has um, a very low speed, but it's got a very high torque, and that's down to the, the gearbox configuration in it. It's got like, a double gearbox in it, and that keeps it really torquey. So, um, these, these are our two sort of bigger rotary polishers, and then we also offer the um, PE8, which is our sort of mini polisher, I'll take up to an 80mm pad as well. We, <coughs> excuse me. We do do another um, rotary polisher, I haven't got it here today. Um, it's, it's, even, it's, uh, bit, it's called the uh, PE14-1. Um, that machine is even lower speed than the PE14-2, but it's designed to take a lot bigger pad. I think it can take up to a 250mm pad. So, um, obviously it's not just cars that need detailing, um, trucks, trains, planes, um, something where you need a big pad, you've got a large surface area, the PE14-1 would, would, would be the ideal tool for, for, for that um, situation. Just for perspective, the, um, the start speed on them, the P14-1 starts at 300 RPM and 2 starts at 600 RPM, so you've got a nice low start speed if you're just doing fine little work, which could work a bit better with more modern abrasive, you don't need the heat to break them down so quickly. Okay. Right, um, we then move on to our XC3401. So this is what we call a force rotation machine. So. Um, We've got the rotary, we've got the force rotation, and we've got the free spinning machine. So this one here, it's the actually the pad is geared, so, so that gives you your orbit. Um, this one I think gives up to a eight mil orbit. I think that's right. Eight mil. Uh, eight mil throw. Yeah, eight mil throw. Sorry, eight mil throw or eight mil orbit. So um, tend to find that. Um, and Ian might correct me, but professionals tend to use more rotary as, as a starting tool and probably finish with a... Generally, yeah, you're going to be finishing more with your, with your DAs. Yeah, you've got a rotary, rotary centric. A lot of professionals, well, just because of the technology, don't pick up rotaries very much anymore. So this is an ideal in-between tool um, for those situations where you haven't really used much rotary, but you need a cut. So, I, 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 I'm not teaching you to suck eggs, but you probably all know the difference between a, a rotary and a dual action, basically, or dual action or eccentric, or depending on what you want to call it. So, um, predominantly, the PE14-2, our rotary, has been our best-selling rotary polisher for quite a few years now, and the XC has been our, our best-selling um, DA polisher for quite a few years, until, I think about two years ago, we then introduced the XFE, so the XFE is what we call a free spinning polisher. Um, so we've got these in three sizes, 150, 125, and 80 mil. Um, this probably would be the equivalent to another brand on the market. They have a, a, a free spinning polisher with the same throw, about 15 mil, I'm not mentioning any names. Um, glad I realized that was flipped in. <laughs> um, so basically, yeah, I mean, yeah. As soon as I finish ramping on, I just want you guys to grab these machines, grab some pads, grab some polish and have a go, really. So, um, um, but the big, the big breaking news, really, is um, our cordless tools. Um, so we've got the PE42, the rotary polisher. Um, the technology that it's uh, we've kind of got from the parent company, it's a very much a flat curve right to the very last 5% of the battery where it will stop which gives it enough to be able to remember its um, charging sequence. So you start off quite a high torque, you drop down another 5%, and then you've got a very flat line to talk to uh, Ralph yeah. about this. So you're not getting halfway through a battery and finding out actually it's not giving me enough power anymore. It's the same amount of power all the way through until it stops working. But what we are, is we are the first company to ever launch a cordless um, free spinning or DA 15 mil throw polisher as well. So I want you guys to have a go with all these and, and try them out. Um, the one new, unique thing, not just about the polisher, um, but is our battery technology. Um, we call it a keep cool technology and how it works basically is inside here there's a gel and when the gel gets hot, um, the gel then liquefies to start keeping the batteries cool and then it will obviously, when it cools down, it will set again. Um, we have a unique charging system as well. So if you're in the middle of detailing a car and you run out of a battery, it will tell you exactly how many minutes you've got left for the battery to charge. 
run time roughly about 40, 40 minutes? Yeah, I think the uh, on under load the road tree is about 25 minutes and the XFP is 35, but that's actual working time, not just you can have 35 minutes on a vehicle and then stop. It's yeah. 35 minutes of machine use with a charging time of each battery around about 40 minutes, yeah. so you're going to have overlap with batteries each time. We also, if, if, obviously we, the batteries are both 18 volt, we do a 5 amp and a 2.5 and a amp, so it's worth trying it with both batteries on because it gives a different weight and different balance to the machine. Um, you might prefer it with the smaller batteries, um, obviously they're not going to last as long, but um, it all depends on, on the way it feels and the way you guys like to use the machine. So, um, we obviously offer, a, um, I'm not going to say too much about our pads and polish, because obviously that's Ian's job, but we do offer, offer pads and polish, um, and all our machines have been designed to operate with our pads for optimum balance and also the way the pads heat up as well. Um, but I know a lot of guys use their own pads and polish as well, but I just wanted to get that point in. So. Sure. Um, each battery comes each comes with two batteries, same. Yeah, we did. You can buy the machines, there's three versions of, of, of the way to buy the cordless machines and most of our polishers. So all our polishers come machine only in a cardboard box or you can buy them in what we call a set version. So the set version would put kind of one of these stackable sort of cases with a couple of pads and polish um, and a backing plate. Um, the cordless tools, to confuse you, come in three different versions. So you can buy it machine only, um, which is basically if you've already got the batteries. If you bought the PE142 with two 5 amp batteries, you might necessarily not want to invest in another two batteries. You can buy the machine on its own. All our cordless tools, whether they're machine only, come in these stackable um, sort of mode cases. Um, so you can buy it machine only, you can buy it machine with two 5 amp batteries and a charger, or you can buy it machine, two 5 amp batteries, charger, and what we call like a set version, so you get some of our polish and a couple of our pads as well. So it gives you three options. The best selling one we've had at the moment on um, cordless is the middle set, so the machine with two batteries um, and a charger. Now, um, the XFE cordless actually comes with a 125mm and a 150mm backing pad in the case. So you can just unscrew the, the backing pad and put on the, the other case. So you've basically got two different size machines pads in, in one machine. So. Um, going back to the batteries as well, I think I finished, but the um, charger we do doesn't only um, tell you exactly how many minutes you've got left. It also has got a fan inside it as well, so if the battery is hot, the, there's an additional fan in here will cool the battery as well while it's being charged. So you'll hear it, 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 it's not noisy, but you can hear the fan working as and when you're charging it, so especially if the battery's warm as well. So I think Rob said they've got a um, life expectancy of over a thousand hours yeah. each as an expectancy, but yeah. we would assume it would go further than that as well. And they've got little um, microchips inside, so we'll be able to tell exactly how many times the battery's been charged and um, the usage has got out of it as well. So. Uh, they still all two-year warranty at the moment? Two-year warranty at the moment in the UK on all our machines. Um, we are looking possibly changing to three, um, but that's not confirmed as yet. But at the moment, um, all our machines have a two-year warranty. So. So I've brought um, just some of their flagship uh, products. So on the right here we've got um, shoals, what I call their S range. So uh, this is really for the, the professional detailer. Um, the one thing about all of these products is that they're all water based, so there's no solvents, no oils, and certainly no fillers in them. So in terms of polishing, what you see is what you get. On the left hand side here, this is a product called EcoFix. This has only recently been launched, I think Johnny, please, you've, you've got it. Um, I think this was initially launched for a, a, a sort of budget offering um, uh, to the detailing world, because it, it's not, at this moment, time body shop friendly, because it does contain some silicon. Um, it's still a water-based product, but actually it's performing a, a lot, lot better than a, a budget brand. So, we had some really good reports about that. Um, there's five in the system if you go through the whole process. Not a great deal of um, pads, so you, you've only got a couple of pads to each um, process to think about. With the, the, the Shoal, the S products, called, um, there's, there's quite a few pads, uh, but the pads are very, very important. I mean, Shoal are the only company 
that manufacture their own pads. So there's a lot of R&D goes into that, you know, this is the right pad to go with this polish, etc. Um, this, you'll see there's different types of pads. We have just your normal closed premium pad, and then we have what's called the uh, spider pads. So these have got all, if you've not seen them before, these have got all cuts in them, um, and that just really keeps the heat down when you're when you're, when you're polishing. They come in, we, they come in 145, uh, 160, 190, and down to 75 mil as well. Um, I think really what we should do is just get on and and and, um, and I'll talk more about it as you're using it. I think. The other one. I'm going to get confused. I'm already. Kind of like That's a very high speed yeah. as well. Realistically, oh, okay. you probably don't want to use it any more than sort of speed three. You don't really need that okay. much cut on there. It's only for the older polishes that you like that you need that heat to cut through. So that's so when you if crack you it right out. What we do. It depends how much you need to cut through. If you're yeah. trying to cut through, cut through, yeah, okay, you're going to go in a high speed to cut through it on the top. Yeah. But realistically, you know, you're going to start at speed one, you're going to slowly work your way up to the speed as you go. Yeah, that's great. That's perfect. That's perfect. And say, just the whole thing with using a rotary push is just to relax your body. If you try and force it, if you're trying to push it into certain angles, then it's not going to work. It's going to fight your yeah. weight. If you let the rotary guide itself and you just sort of push it around where you want, learn where the rotary is trying to go, follow that. That's going to be the best way to go. Is there no method to like. This thing, I, I don't actually own a proper DA. I've never felt a need of one. Apart from that type, they will paint on a fucking album. We're going to go and burn through that bonnet if you want to know what that's looking at. I'm going to burn through that bonnet for a couple of minutes. It's going to burn through this for a minute. I'm going to go to the back of the pad first. So if you see something yellow flying off that way, you'll know what that means. Going. You can see it. How long was that? That was about 35 seconds. Yeah. 35 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? 125. 125 yeah, degrees. I'm not, touch, I'm not touching yeah. that one. Yeah. It's Sorry. distorted the panel. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like, it's not burnt yeah. through the paint. <laughs> yeah, what you will notice it. is that how hot paint. that's got, it's giving you warning signs before you've gone too far. Yeah. If you are using that thing at high speeds, is it fair to say it's harder to be consistent when you're doing correction and you're looking to lower it all down? If you slow it down or use another tooling option, you can correct at a rate which is a little bit more sensible, you know. Potentially, the whole thing about anything, what we're trying to create as detailers is uniformity. Yeah, uniformity of gloss, therefore uniformity of reflection. You've got a uniform level of defect across the whole surface and therefore nothing sticks out. The only reason that something sticks out is because that it, it, it's a non-uniform defect. It's not the same. To start off with, we're going for a massive cutting stage. As long as you are controlling all of the variables that you're able to, you're going to create uniformity. Does that make sense? Because what you're doing with an initial cutting stage, yes, you're inflicting marring in because it's really aggressive, but as long as you're using that machine at that speed with that pad and that compound, you know that your arm movement itself is the same. You're applying a uniform amount of pressure. I'm a big advocate of what I call fingertip polishing. There's no way you can vary the pressure on a machine if you're letting the machine apply the pressure itself.
back onto the pool for their ammo, once you get that speed up a little bit, it's a lot easier to guide around. It's a bit noisier. So, the gang has some fantastic cut on it, so. Then with, so for example, when you're on about like working a bit sort of slower, slower speed to yeah. work in that combo, does that go the same for a rotary dual action and the force drive? Or? The theory, the basic principles are the same. If you take that and think, well, I'm going to use that, I'm going to put that in place in every single thing that I do. Yep. Once that background's there, yep. then you can start playing with things and okay. actually switching things up and saying, okay, let me try increasing the speed and see what yeah. happens with that. Let me try, you know, working a different size area. Let's try it with a different pan, a different compound. Yeah. Very interesting day today, guys. I thought I'd just take the camera and grab some footage and whack it out on there on the channel as a vlog. So thanks for tuning in, and I shall see you on the next video on Forensics Detailing Channel. Bye for now. Holding on.